Hello. Hi, everyone. We are live. We're here together for a great guitar lesson. Um, if you are there, if you're joining us, um, you can always write in the chat. You're welcome to do that and we'll start working together. But um, the chat is open so you can comment, ask questions, and I'm happy. I'm, I will be here to, to uh, answer your questions, all, all the questions you have. But let's start. Let's get into it. Um, so hello and welcome to everyone. If you are a student at Anselmo Academy or if you are one of our Anselmo Academy friends and uh, we'll have some fun with this beautiful instrument called guitar. <laughs> so um, I see that people are coming in and uh, um, welcome, welcome everybody. So I will start with a little introduction. Uh, on, um, I will tell you who I am, I present myself, and then we'll get into uh, the guitar, because this is the guitar day, so we'll discover this instrument. Uh, so my name is Nikki, and I'm a classical guitarist. What does a classical guitarist mean? It means that I play the classical guitar, the one that you see in front of me, and um, I'm Italian, but I live in New York right now. I came here to study, uh, to study classical guitar, and now I'm living here and teaching guitar and playing guitar and uh, playing in concerts. But this is my instrument. And um, uh, it's a beautiful instrument. And uh, maybe you play the guitar too. If you play the guitar, write me in the chat and tell me uh, about it. Maybe you're guitar students, or maybe you uh, want to learn guitar and you're very curious about the instrument and I'm, and I'm happy to see your comments. So this is the guitar. Where does the guitar come from? What is the guitar? What type of instrument is the guitar? Uh, maybe you know it already, but let's talk a little bit about this instrument. So this is the support I use to keep it nice in the line, uh, but it's not part of the instrument. And so you see, this is a wooden instrument, a wooden instrument, because classical guitar is made of wood. You might know other guitars as well that are not like the classical guitar, are a little different. Um, maybe you uh, heard and listened to and watched to electric guitars, for example, and acoustic guitars folk guitars and other type of uh, guitars. There are so many. And, um, uh, but they all are similar in many ways. Uh, so we see, what does the guitar have here? A body, a part that we call the body, and then another part that we call the neck of, or the fretboard. And uh, this is connected to this little keys that we will see later what they do. And how does the guitar work? How does the guitar even sound? So the guitar has strings that are tied in here and here at the end of the fretboard. So they are tied in in this little bridge and then they run all the way up till these little keys. And when we pluck them, we touch them, we put them in vibration, what happens? The guitar sounds. And how does that sound? We have this beautiful body of the guitar, which is, um, which put, uh, vibrates together, like the air vibrating comes in, becomes bigger and comes out as a sound. So this part of the guitar is very, very, very important. And if you play the electric guitar, you might tell me, yes, but the electric guitar sounds different and it, do it doesn't have this hole where the uh, air vibrating goes in and comes out. What's the difference there is that the electric guitar, like we see in the name, uses electricity and needs some help to uh, get the sound out. And this help is called the amplifier. But the, the uh, structure of the instrument is exactly the same. 
is very, very similar. And how it works and how we play it is also similar. We might play different type of, of um, songs, different type of pieces, but they work all in a similar way. So this is how the guitar works. And uh, the guitar has a very, very ancient history. It's a very ancient uh, instrument. Even though we might think that it's modern, it's actually not. There are examples probably of the first guitars in the Babylonian times. It's very, very far away. It's like 3,000 years ago. They were, of course, different instruments, but they work the same. And they had strings and they were kind of the grand, 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 grandfathers <laughs> of the guitars. And, uh, and this is the modern instrument, but they come very, very from ancient times. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the guitar from that area traveled, this instrument traveled around and was brought um, to Spain, where in Spain became really, really popular instrument. In the medieval times in Spain was really uh, uh, popular to play the guitar. And then there in Spain is where we saw developing the guitar, how we know it now, like this. In fact, you might have heard the guitar in a lot of Spanish music, like for instance, the flamenco music. I'm sure this, um, makes you think about Spain a little bit. And, uh, and so uh, in Spain where is where this instrument developed uh, over the centuries and uh, became what we now know as a classical guitar. And then of course, the electric guitar came in uh, in uh, last century in the United States. But this is the little bit the history of the guitar. And as you understand, it's very, very ancient and has been played for so many centuries and we still play it. And the guitar is a very, very nice instrument. If you want to start uh, a, a new instrument, the guitar is really good for many reasons. And one of those is also that it's easy to bring around. And with the guitar, you can play a lot of genres. You can play classical guitar, their pages or you can play songs and you can bring the guitar with you and have fun with your friends or play in a band and there is so many genres that use the guitar so it's a really good instrument if you want to try and what you see behind me is not a guitar that's a cello <laughs> but um if you wonder what that was and uh and uh okay let's go into learning how to play the guitar are you a beginner do you play already the guitar let's discover something about it so um let's figure out what we do when we have the guitar so we don't even know how to handle it right so we have this instrument and now you see that i have a support uh if you don't have a support that's okay you can put it right on your leg but what we want to do with the guitar in order to play it is to find a correct position and a correct sitting position, right? We don't want to be weirdly um, in weird position that will affect our back. We want to really sit down properly. And you can even cross your legs if needed to just hold the guitar. And what we want is the guitar to be nicely aligned with us, with the neck, or the fretboard up. Why not? We don't want it down. Why we don't want it down? Because first of all, it's very difficult to reach. We need to extend our arm too much and we don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. And uh, also because we want to be very straight and aligned with our body. We don't want to do these. This is not going to be helpful with our body. And so we need to find a nice, nice position. And you can try to bring up the guitar, if you have a guitar in your hands in this moment, bring up the guitar and then bring it down towards your left. This is my left side, this is my right side. So again, we can have it here and we can just like think about like closing a door. <laughs> there we are, close. 
And now we are nicely in a nice, nice position, right? Great. So what do we do now? Let's start by trying out how to play our strings. So as I said, the guitar uses strings. These are strings. Do you know other instruments that use strings? I bet you know. For example, tell me one. I would say the violin uses strings. And do you know another one? Where the cello behind me uses strings. Or the harp. Yes, I bet you knew that one. And there are many instruments that use strings. And uh, the guitar, even the piano uses strings. I tell you a secret. But um, uh, the guitar uses plucked strings, while the violin that we mentioned before uses a bow. If there are violinists here, they know what I'm talking about. The guitar uses this, the fingers to pluck. The strings. So if our finger are touching the string and making the string vibrating. How fascinating, right? So now we will try to do that. How many strings the, does the guitar have? You can count them or you can answer it. And uh, the answer, the correct answer is six. Maybe you have seen guitars with 12 strings. That also happens. Or maybe you have seen guitars with four strings, five strings, seven strings. There are so many different instruments and uh, it's okay. But the classical guitar or the usual guitar, even the electric guitar usually has six strings. And you might think that we count them from here to here, right? No, we do the opposite. So this is our String number one, number one. Then the adjacent one is going to be string number two. And then the next one, string number three. Great. And then we go down another little bit and we get to string number four. And then string number five and string number six. What do we see? is that when we go down the strings, we go from high, high notes, very high, to very low. How funny. So this is the highest, number one, and this is the lowest, number six. Nice, very nice. Highest, lowest. Great. And let's start playing something using our thumb. We'll start with the thumb that is easier than the other fingers and see how we use it. So bring your arm up. Yes, like that. And then bring your arm down and rest your elbow on top of the guitar. Yes, nice. Let's do it again. Bring your arm up and then bring your arm down. Nicely and relax, great. And then you can bring your hand near the strings, keeping your elbow here. So I can really relax like that. Yes, so bring your arm up and then down again and then near the strings. This is a great position. I saw other position like that with the elbow that goes down and you see my, my shoulder how, no, that collapses and it doesn't really work. So this is nice. One more time. Arm up, resting the elbow on the guitar, and then bring your hand closer to the strings. Now we have the thumb. You can think about like thumb up, thumbs up. And then we bring it near the string on top of it. Try to just uh, gently touch the string. Can you feel it? Yes. And now we try to pluck down and release the finger and hear what it sounds like. Let's do it again. Nice. Do you hear a beautiful sound? This is an E sound. If you know the notes already, this is the E. And then again. Nice. This is the sixth string. 
we said. So the lowest string on the guitar. Great. How does it go? I bet you're doing great. Let's try to repeat four times this same note. So we'll go together. One, two, three, four, and go, 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 go. Great. And now, can we try to play the fifth string now? Now it's going to be tricky. Why? Because there are two strings, one on top and one on the bottom, and it's very easy to touch the other strings. Instead, we want to touch only one, the fifth string, like this. And if you touch the other strings the first time, it's okay. Try to do it again, and maybe you have to keep your uh, movement a little, little, uh, just quicker or smaller movement to avoid touching the other strings. So we try, wonderful. And we try again, just experiment with it. Nice, can we play it four times together? One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, great. And I bet we can do the next string, the fourth string together now. Let's try. One, two, three, four, and go. Two, three, four. Wonderful. Let's do the third string together. Now we hear higher note. And if you look at the strings, they look a little different. They are nylon strings. Those are instead the bass strings are um, they have metal around the string, now we have the highest string. So the third string and we try together. One, two, three, four, and go, 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 go. Wonderful. And now we are missing only two strings. Let's go to the second string, which is the second to last. One, two, three, four, and go, two, three and if you touch other strings don't worry it's okay it's always fine and it's just the beginning so let's go with the highest notes of all one two three four and one two three four wonderful now let's do a little game together now we saw that we have string six five four three two one I say a string and you go and play it for me. So I would say string number three. Can you find it? Three, two, one. String number three is this one. Did you play it correctly? Okay, let's try a new one. Let's play string number five together. Which one is it? I'll leave you a little bit of time to find it. And now three, two, one. This is string number five. I bet you got it correctly. And then I would say string number one. Let's see if you play it correctly. This is it. I know you did it. And last but not least, let's do string number Six, it's one of my favorite. Did you play it? One, two, three. There it is. Good job. I bet you were great. And now let's do one more thing together. And we play four times each string, but we, not, we never stop. And we go from string number one to string number six four times each string and we go together. You need to go with me, together with me, and we play with the thumb. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, change. One, two, three, four, change. Two, three, four, change. One, two, three, Four, change. One, two, 
three, four, change, one, two, three, four, wonderful, that was great. And of course, we just play with the thumb, but we have other fingers as well. We'll try a little bit with the other fingers and then we move on. But uh, when you're home, when you start playing the guitar, you will experiment with all of them. It takes a while to get familiar. It's never the first time. It takes a little while because it's a quite a tricky instrument. But when you become familiar with it, it's also very, very beautiful. And of course, we can also play with the peak. You will have uh, some lessons where you play with the peak, but today we want to experiment just with our fingers. Let's try something which is a little bit more difficult than the thumb that we just did. So what about if we want to play with the index or with the middle finger? Shall we try? So we play with the thumb that goes from up to down. And what do the other fingers do? They do exactly the opposite. So they go from down to up. So what? let's try. It's difficult, but I know you can do it. So we can take the first string that now you know perfectly where it is. I know you do. You take the first string and we place our finger under it. Under it. So when we want to play the string and pluck the string, we only bend our knuckle going up. Look at this. Tuck. Now you can do it. Let's try. Nice. Very nice. And we can maybe try with the middle finger as well. Very nice again. And it's okay if it's a little difficult at the beginning. You will get it. And now we can do index and middle finger alternating like we were walking with our fingers. It's a little walk, tuck, 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 tuck. Like really walking, walking, walking. And we do it here on the strings. Let's try it. together. And we do four times the first string. One, two, three, four. Four and walk, 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 walk. Wonderful. Can we do it again? One, two, ready, go. And walk, 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 walk. Great. Now, what if we want to play a walk with our index and middle finger, but on the second string? Let's try it. One, two, three, four, and walk, 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 walk. That's great. Uh, I, I know that it's difficult at the beginning. Again, it's easy to grab the other strings and maybe play two of them together at the first time, but it's okay. It's totally normal. Let's do a walk together index and middle finger and if you cannot do it now you just try what you can do and then you can repeat it and watch this video over and uh, do it again and again until you get it so don't worry if just try and uh, we will walk four times for each string and we go from one to two to three to four to five to six can you do it let's do it one Two, ready, go, and walk, 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 change, walk, 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 change, walk, 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 change, walk, walk, and change, and one, two, three, four, and change. Wonderful. How did it go? Okay, so again and again, this needs practice, but this is how we start plucking the instrument and plucking the strings of the of the guitar so we get nice sound. 
and it's a very very nice instrument and you can play some beautiful things with it but it all starts very simple getting familiar with this movement of the right hand right so um i want to do another thing now a little more fun where we add a few rhythms and i want to try some rhythms with you and we will use the thumb again because i want us to play all the strings together now we play open strings what do open string mean it means that uh we play only the strings without placing any finger on the fretboard open strings and we want to play all of them but we start with getting familiar with the rhythm that I'm going to tell you uh, by using the guitar as a little percussion instrument. Did you know that a guitar can make percussions as well? Listen. Like it. Since it's a wooden instrument, it, it feels like a drum. So we can play percussions together as well. So the rhythm that I want you to get familiar with, it's a little tricky, but I know you can do it, is this one. So, da, da, di, di, da. let's try it together uh, with the percussions only. One, two, three, four, in. Da, 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 di, da. Great. One, Two, three, four, and da, da, di, di, da. Great. Can we change place so we sound different? Da, da, di. It's a little deeper here. Two, three, again, and da, da, di, di, da. Let's try above here. One, two, three, four, and. Great, again, two, three, four, in. Great, and now, can we try to do that with our thumb on all the strings? So, I bet you can, let's try. So what we do is we want to play all the strings with the thumb, like that basically go from the sixth string to the first string and back and you can do it and we want to try this new rhythm that we just experimented so we do that, that then fast fast long long short short long one two three four and long long Short, short, long, again, two, three, four, and long, long, short, short, long, and one more time, and long, long, short, short, long. Isn't this fun? I know it's very fun when we just play all the strings. It's super fun. And can we try a rhythm that is a little bit more difficult? just to have a little fun together. Well, let's do it with the percussions first. So the rhythm will be fast, 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 and then a little long. So So it's really run, 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 stop. Run, 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 stop. And run, 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 stop. Great, one, two, three, go. Run, 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 stop. Let's change sound, maybe we can go here. One, two, three, four, and run, 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 stop. Two, three, four, run, 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 stop. Fantastic. Shall we do it here with the higher sound? One, two, three, four, Four and run, 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 stop. Great. One more time, go. Run, 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 stop. Yay. Let's do it with the thumb, with all the strings. Ready? 
One, two, three, four, and run, 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 stop. Two, three, four. You can play around with it. You can do more rhythms. You can have some fun. The guitar is a fun instrument, and that's what you need to do. Just have a lot of fun. But aren't we missing something? We just played a lot with our right hand, so much with our right hand. But what do we do with our left hand? We need to use that as well, right? And the left hand is the hand that uh, permits us to play more than six notes. Now we have six beautiful notes on this open strings, but with the uh, left hand, we can do many more notes. Look, we, when we play on the first strings, for instance, how many notes we have now just using the left hand. What does the left hand do? So do you see on the neck of the guitar, these little metal bars? These bars, there are so many. And each one of those is a fret. And each fret, it's a different note. So what do we do to produce a different sound? Is to place one of our fingers of the left hand on the fretboard, on the different fret, and we get a new sound. And then next fret, we get a new sound. Next fret. And then we can even go up a little bit more. Yes, and get so many notes. And each string will have more and more and more. Don't worry, we don't do them all today. We just do a few things very easy that you can handle. And at the end, we'll do a song together. But uh, let's try just a, a very simple thing right now. We place our thumb. Our thumb is not playing on the fretboard. The thumb will stay behind. Behind here, facing up, thumbs up. Always thumbs up because we are happy. We're never sad. So thumb up and it stays behind here, but we don't want to see it. And it just stays there nicely and relaxed while the other fingers, like these little hammers, were pluck and press down on a different fret. Let's try something. So on the first string that we know super well now, you know which string is the first string, is the highest, we want to place the first finger on the first fret the second finger on the second fret, the third finger on the third fret, and the pinky, yes, the pinky, it's a little hard at the beginning, but then it becomes easy, on the fourth fret. Can we put them all in order? Don't worry, if you cannot do this completely, just do a couple of fingers, or if you can put them all in a row, that is fantastic. See, let's try it again just to place our fingers here and one more time this is a very nice stretch also it's a very good warm-up exercise it's like doing gymnastic for the for the fingers gym exercise there and if you see what i'm doing i'm placing my finger like little hammers like this Try not to collapse your fingers. Keep the knives like hammers. Thick. If they are like these, they kind of become a little weak and it's harder to get a sound. We want them really nice and hammers. You can try this in, only with the fingers. Like this exercise is very helpful to become familiar with this movement. And when I place them here, I place them near the metal bar that we talked about before. What happens if I put the finger far away from the metal bar? We hear a buzz. Do we like this sound? I don't like it very much. And I think you also don't like it very much. 
<laughs> and we go instead near the metal bar, now we have a nice sound. What happens if we place it above the bar? It's a little weird sound, right? That's not, it's not that nice. Here we have buzz. And here we have a, a little bit choked sound. And what about here? Here's the nicest sound that we can get. And so if we put our fingers on the first fret here, we use the first finger to just not get lost and pluck the string as we did before, either with the thumb or with the index finger or with the middle finger, we get a sound. And we can do the same on the second fret. And we change our note. You know what you can do? This little exercise, whenever you want, just try to get a nice sound from all the four first frets on one string. And then you can go to the second string and do the same. What if we play the second fret and the third fret and the fourth fret? And again, this is going to take a little while. It's not easy at the beginning. Nothing it's easy at the beginning. You just need to stick to it and maybe do it a little bit every day. And you will see by the end, uh, when, when you do it for a few days in a row, then you become so good. And this will be so easy. So this exercise of putting down all the fingers is really, really a nice exercise for the guitar. And of course, you can even go to the bass strings. This is nice, very nice sounds on the basses, aren't they? But I want now to see if we can play a song together. We'll do three chords together, trying to put down fingers on the left hand, try to match them and uh, combine them with something with the right hand and try to play a little song. As a song, I decided that we can play together happy birthday. Maybe it's your birthday soon, or maybe somebody in your family <laughs> will have a birthday soon, and maybe that's a nice first song to start with. Also because we can play very, very easy chords that are not going uh, to be too difficult and too painful for the left hand, because I'm telling you a little secret. At the beginning, uh, pressing down the fingers on the strings can be a little painful, but don't worry, your fingers will get used to it. So uh, don't give up when you when you when it's a little painful. Just go on, and your fingers will get used to it. Um, so this song that I want to play is really simple. And if you uh, cannot keep up now with me, you can watch again the video and do it again. We'll, we'll repeat these chords a little bit, uh, a few times, so we can uh, try to play them together. And uh, then you can repeat it at home and patiently, and then I know that you will get the song so well done. We will use three chords that are D chords, a chords and G chords, and all of those chords are major. D major, A major, and G major. What does major mean? Major, minor, those chords are really weird. Maybe it's the first time you hear this. So this is a, a major chord. It's pretty bright, happy. This is a minor chord. A minor chord is a little, little bit more sad if you want, or mellow. But today we will use only happy chords. Well, happy birthday is a happy song. So we need all major chords. But we're not gonna do this difficult chord. We are doing simplified chords. We're starting from, from the beginning, so we don't want to do things that are too difficult. So we will use only the first strings. We're not going to use six, five, and four, because the, the bass is not yet. We will use only the first three strings to play this song together. And we'll learn first the G major chord. And I bet you're going to be so good at that. So we need to place our finger on the third fret of the first string. 
this one, right? And I would use the third finger, this finger, the ring finger. But if you need to use another one today, I will forgive you. <laughs> you can even use the first finger if you really want. But I will use the third because it's it's a little easier if you, if we do that. And to play the chord, what do we do? We play the first three strings together, maybe with the thumb. There we are. Nice, right? Very nice. Let's play together. One, two, three, four, G major. Again, one, two, three, four, G major. Great. If you want, you can even play with your uh, index finger, like with your with the outside part of the finger, and you get a little bit of a nail sound. You can choose the thumb or the index. Okay, this is a nice chord and really easy. And I think that you're ready to move on to a more difficult chord, which is the A major chord. Now we're going to press the fingers on two different frets. The second fret of the third string and the second fret of the second string. So it will be like one above each other. See, I'm putting the index finger here, the middle finger here, and I'm making sure I don't touch the first string because we need it as well. So it will sound like this. Nice, isn't this a nice chord? Very nice. So it's two fingers, one above each other, and I know you can do it. Let's try it together an A major. One, two, three, four, A major. Again, one, two, three, four, A major. And again, one, two, three, four, A major. Great. Now, challenge for you. Can we change? from the G major chord to the A major chord. Let's try this. So again, from the third fret on the first string to this two frets on second and third string. From here to here. And we need to jump, tuck and tuck. So we, I count four and we go with G major and then I count four and we try A major. Ready? One, two, ready, go. And G, two, three, four, A. Two, change, and G, two, three, four. Two, three, four, change. Two, three, four, change. Two, Three. And one more. G, two, three, chain, and two, three, four. Great. How did it go? I bet you did it fantastic. And uh, if you're an advanced player, you can play the whole chord of G major and the whole chord of A major complete. Uh, but beginners, just follow what I'm doing. And... Um, Next, we need a third chord. We said we were going to do D major as well. And this one is the trickiest of all. So take your time. If you can't do it today, you can uh, try it again and again, and then it will become much easier because now look at this. My hands will look like a little spider now. <laughs> so we keep our first finger where we had it on the third string. Do you see it? on the third string, second fret, and then on the first string, second fret, we put our second finger. And then finger three will go on the third fret of the string number two. So it looks like this. 
it's difficult i told you it was going to be difficult let's do it again so one finger here and then one finger here but on this first string so they are oral line one above one under keeping the string and then on this middle string that we didn't use yet we put the third finger but even though it's challenging i know it sounds so good that you want to play it and again it's a matter of practicing a little bit so really one finger at a time you will be able to put down the d major chord that sounds so bright and that we need to play happy birthday together nice very nice and so now let's try to do this to go from a major to d major chord and you can try as many times as you as you want at home repeat it over and over and your fingers will become so good and so quick so let's go from a major there's two fingers here one two three four a major and now we change ready two three four change two three four two three four two three four two three one more time two three beautiful d major to end nice so the three chords that we need to play this song are d major the tricky one but it's not that tricky if you practice a little bit then the a major and then the g which is very nice and how does that go so we start with d major so we start with placing our fingers nicely in the d major shape and this is where we start our happy birthday and then we go to a major to you there it is let's try it again one two three happy birthday to you nice can we do it again one two three happy birthday to you beautiful and then we repeat a happy birthday to you and we go to d major so d and then a a again and d let's do it happy birthday to you great a again happy birthday to d you there you are that is fantastic i know you did it fantastic and then we play the d again and finally we get to the g happy birthday to you or to whoever is the birthday person happy birthday from the d to you there we are the g is the easiest so now you can do it and then to end we do d birthday a and d it will take a little while but you can do it perfectly i know that already and we're using all the three strings we start simple we're not going to complicate it and i know you can do it so d and a and a and again d and then we go from d to g and d and a d easy let's try to play it together and sing it together singing is very fun right okay we'll start with the d ready on the d happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday to you now 
What if we want to get a little bit more advanced? So if you are starting right now, just play this very nicely, one chord at a time. But maybe you want to make the rhythm a little bit more complicated. And maybe you want to do uh, um, something more with the rhythm. So we can do, for instance, we can do some nice rhythm. So look at what I'm doing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. So what I'm playing is down, down, up, down. Isn't it easy? So down, down, up, down. Do you remind? Does this remind something to you? Because we did something similar before, right? We did a rhythm. We, we did a similar rhythm to this one, and this is really, really similar. So we're doing this. So slow, fast, fast, slow. And we can try together. Let's try it on the G chord, the G chord that is easy. Nice, and good. is maybe you can go either with the thumb if you want but I recommend maybe using the index and go down down up down or always down whatever it feels more comfortable for you I just want you to get the rhythm I don't want to get too complicated here but maybe we can uh, apply these, which will make the song even more fun. So how does that sound if we use this rhythm here? Let's try it one more time. One before putting the uh, song into it and, and the words. One, two, three, four. Da, 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 da. We sing it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Very nice. Beautiful. Did you get it? Easy difficult. Um, again, it will take some practice. You can even just play one chord at a time, but I know this is pretty fun, right? And um, this is a simple way to start um, practicing the guitar, start to get familiar with the instrument and, uh, and uh, to um, just have really fun with the instrument first. And then you will advance more and more. It will take some practice. Every instrument takes a lot of practice, but um, we start from simple things and we start having some fun with it. So before we wrap it up, because we are almost at the end of, of, our, um, of our lesson today, we did a lot of things. So I want you to remember and not miss anything of what we did. So let's just uh, think about all the um, things that we did together. So we discovered the guitar. We said a little bit how ancient this instrument is, how far behind it comes from, and how the modern guitar came to us, which is this one. 
And uh, this is classical. We, we also said that there are different types of guitar and that the guitar is involved in different music genres. So there is one for everybody. If you like pop music, if you like rock music, if you like classical music, there's always a guitar that you can play in, in those different genres. And then uh, we discovered how to use our right hand properly on the strings, how to pluck the strings, right? How uh, to use the thumb on the strings. We did some repeated notes on the open strings and we discovered that the first string is the bottom one, while the sixth string is the first one, which is a little bit confusing at the beginning, but again, we have first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. And uh, we played them with the thumb, but then we discover how to pluck with other fingers, I and F, like index and middle finger, and we try to place them and play all the strings and again, make sure you don't touch the adjacent strings when you go uh, on the middle strings because that's very tricky. But playing only these six notes was not enough, right? So we started to see how to use our left hand on the strings and on the frets. So we discover how to use our little fingers like hammers that will pluck and press down the different frets. So you can experiment with that. And then we try to apply these things that we just learned and try to uh, play a song together. So again, we did the G major chord, the A major chord, and the D major chord. There are more chords than those. There are so many, but start simple from those. And um, but already with three simple chords, you can do some songs. Like we saw, we played "Happy Birthday" and we did a rhythm with this hand and um, pluck and uh, press the fingers on the fretboard on the other hand. And with this combination, with the a beautiful tune together. And how fun is it? So I hope this was a fun class for you. And uh, I hope uh, you uh, gave you some curiosity for this instrument. If you're already a guitar player, continue working on it. You'll do fantastic and practice, practice, practice. If you're new to it and you uh, are not sure you want to try it, I think it's worth a try because this is a very nice instrument. Um, and as I said, it's super fun and you can uh, do so much with it. And uh, so I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you have questions, put them here in the chat or in the comments. And I'm happy. I'm really, really happy to answer those questions. And uh, I hope that you start your guitar journey. There's so much to do with it. I don't see questions coming in. So I think that we can play happy birthday one more time together and then we uh, wrap it up. So ready? Oh, and I forgot to say something before. Make sure you tune your guitar before starting. <laughs> this is pretty funny because um, I had my students many times coming in with guitars that were so out of tune. And out of tune guitar doesn't really sound very good. And how you tune the guitar with these keys up here. Do you see if I turn the key, the guitar sounds lower or higher. So that's how we tune the guitar. And you know, the guitar being a uh, wooden instrument is very sensitive to the weather, hot weather, cold weather, dry, humid. So it changes so much tuning. So make sure you tune your guitar properly before starting so it sounds really good. But let's go one more time, happy birthday, and then we go. One, two, three, four. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday.
great job everyone and thank you for being here thank you for uh watching this class i hope you start your guitar journey bye